Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. So I've been preaching about using Alembics for quite a while. I'll post a link to a previous video below where I go over reasons you should be using Alembics. So here's a quick tip for when you're using Alembic files and you're using a cloner. So I have this cloner and I have a bunch of clones and let's say that I'm happy with this animation, but I want to make this Alembic so that it bakes down everything and it's faster to work with. So let's go to this uh, cloner right here. Let's right click on it and we'll go down to bake as Alembic. All right, so it has baked this as an Alembic file and then we can turn off our original cloner. And here is our Alembic file, which will make things a lot faster. And you can see that um, this animation is completely baked in. However, because we used a cloner, if we look at this Alembic file, if we troll this down, we have a copy of every single clone in this. So it did bake it down, but it's not gonna be all that fast because it retained all these individual pieces, which is really gonna slow down your computer quite a bit. So for instance, we'll take this clone and I'll put it into another cloner if uh, we want to make a bunch of these. And you can see already just by uh, navigating around this viewport, it's getting very slow to work with. It's uh, hard to navigate around here. All right, that's just because there's so many copies of everything. All right, I'm back now. Uh, my computer actually crashed because it was bogging down so much. So let's talk about the way that we can export a cloner object as an Alembic and save a lot of speed. So what we're gonna do instead of baking this down right away, we're going to add a connect object. So we'll uh, type in connect and we're gonna add the connect object down here and put the cloner inside of it. And in that connect object, what we're gonna do is change uh, the Fong mode to manual and the tolerance, we can go way down maybe to like 0.01. So now we'll right click on that connect object and we're going to make that one Alembic. So we'll click bake as Alembic. And you can see that we have a polygonal object now. There's none of the individual pieces. It's just one polygon object, but we have all that animation in here. And this is really useful because if we wanted to clone this, you can see that we have that exact same cloner setup, but it's really fast to navigate around. You can see absolutely no problem for me to play around with this. And this is the beauty of Alembics is being able to make massive quantities of something and not bog down your computer. So using that connect object on a cloner, if you wanna to go to Alembic, it's gonna save you an incredible amount of time and speed. I hope that tip is useful to you. Thanks for checking out Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.